Hello guys, I welcome you all on this wonderful platform and today's daily dose topic is related to engineering mechanics and it is related to the favorite of yours that is friction and this is going to be very very important interview question from you guys and this type of questions can be asked in the exam like bark also sorry interview like bark also and if you are looking for a masters in design then also they can ask you. So guys, this is some detail about me. Uh, so today's daily dose is important for civil and mechanical both. And we are having the topic that is old and modern views of friction. So guys, uh, actually you already know that friction is a resistance force which generally comes to resist the relative motion. So we already know what is the difference between absolute and relative motion. Like if I am moving with 10 meter per second, like I am moving with 10 meter per second and someone other is going with 20 meter per second. So he is going with 20, I am going with 10. So according to me, according to me, this person is moving with 10 meter per second. That is relative velocity. But you are standing alone. You will say, sir, you are moving with 10 and he is moving with 20. This is the absolute velocity. So friction have nothing to do with absolute. It has to do with the relative. So guys, like if there are two bodies together, if one body will try to ma make a motion, then friction will come into picture to stop the relative motion. Friction will try to stop this body which is moving and also will try to move the second body so that they can move together. So both the ways friction will be working. The point is now what is the cause of friction? So guys, there were two views about that. Like every time uh, we are modifying our thinking based on the conditions. So previously our thinking about friction was something like that. What we were thinking is like if this is one body and this is the surface, then whenever these two bodies are there in contact with each other, if you will see this contact region with the microscope, you will find there are multiple point contacts present like that. And you can see these multiple point contacts are coming because of the rough surfaces of both the bodies. So because of that, you can see at uh, these points, you can see the uh, contact points. And, uh, and if you can see these contact points are there. So my dear, what is the problem when you will try to make the motion of this first body? Then previously the assumption was that as these these irregularities are coming in path of each other. So if you want to make the motion of one body over another, then these irregularities need to be broken. So when this body will be passing over other, it will be just breaking these irregularities. Obviously, they are at micro levels. That's why we cannot see. So my dear, when this was the uh, thought as the reason of the old view, what was the problem in that? The problem is that when we were thinking that the friction is coming because of this, then there were two points where we were unable to explain. We have seen friction was found to be independent of area. So, you know, if area would be more, then more such irregularities will be there. More irregularities means more friction should be there. Then friction must be a function of area. But you know the laws of friction. Friction is said to be independent of area. So, this was the first challenge came into picture. Then second challenge was, my dear, when we were talking about the friction, as it is coming because of the irregularities, if you will take two smooth surfaces like two glasses one over other, then my dear, you will find it is very difficult to move them. They are over smooth surfaces, but still we cannot move because friction there is very, very high. But as per the theory, their friction should not be there because we have the flat surface there, smooth surface there. But my dear, as I said this was the second point which was a challenge to the old view of the friction. So here after getting these challenges, people were thinking what should be the reason then. Then my dear one more view came into picture that is said to be the modern view. And right now we are going with this view only. This view says that if this is one body, okay, and this is the second body, which you are thinking that they are in contact. So in reality, when you will see this region of interference, then this region actually is not having uh, that kind of perspective what you were thinking. But in reality, it is having this type of contact. So the point is, we are thinking that that much area is in contact. 
but in reality if you will see only contact is maintained at some points like that so previously we were thinking that we need to just break those edges break those irregularities but the point is not that here they have told that friction is coming because in reality you are thinking that this much area is in contact but in reality the contact area is very very less so the real area of contact to the theoretical area of contact was found to be in a ratio of 1 is to 10 to the power 4 so when that much less area is in contact then obviously between two bodies there are some attractive forces molecular attraction forces would be there so because of that attraction forces force but the area is very less because area you are thinking is this much but in reality is this much so because of that the pressure is very very high and we know that welding happens either due to heat or due to pressure or due to both so here heat is not there but pressure is quite high because the area of contact is very very less so due to that it was found that pressure is very very high because of that some cold welds are produced as heat is not there we have given the name here cold welds so the name given was cold welds and because of that cold welds form at these places we got we got we got actually uh, the friction to be independent of area so if that pressure is the reason for the friction then you know pressure have nothing to do with area because pressure we are defining per unit area only so that is why the first challenge is explained by the modern view second says that when you are having the smooth surfaces then area of contact will be increases but at the same time the attraction forces between the molecules will also increases too high and it is seen that force which is numerator of the pressure increases at a very very high rate because of that overall friction force increases whenever we are talking about two extra smooth surfaces so this was uh, you can say the uh, reason explained by the modern view so if you are going to give any interview in the bark drdo isro you may get this type of question that explain what is the cause of friction then you have to explain both these views with the explanation which i told you so goodbye guys for this session and stay tuned with us with more such videos goodbye for this session